Hiya, I'm Abby. And I'm Tom. Welcome to Redeemer Kids Online. Whoop whoop. This morning we've got an exciting program scheduled. We've got a brilliant story, we've got an exciting craft, and then we've got a prayer time together. So to kick us off, before we start any of those things, I think you need to all stand up and give me give us all a wiggle. So, do you want to follow my actions? Hi guys, let's get active. So, first things, let's see if we can touch our toes. Then touch the ceiling. Let's stretch it out. Oh yeah. Right, let's hop on one foot. Hop on the other foot. Do some star jumps. Who's joining in? Run on the spot. How fast can you run? Faster. Faster. <laughs> now let's do some jumping. Oh yeah. How high can you jump? What's the highest animal that can jump in the world? Whoa. Let's go down low. Whoa. Oh yeah. Whoa. Right guys. Do some spinning. Ooh, feeling dizzy? Really dizzy. Ooh. Wow, we guys, I think it's time for story time. Whew. Are you are you tired? <laughs> I'm cream cracking after doing those. I think it's time for everybody to sit down on their bottoms, on your sofa or on the floor, ready for the story. So let's begin. Right, is everybody sitting down comfortably and ready for the story? Good. So we're going to be reading all about a man named Jonah. I wonder if you know anything already about Jonah? Hmm. Okay, I'll begin. God had a job for Jonah, but Jonah didn't want it. Go to Nineveh, said God said, and tell your worst enemies that I love them. No, said Jonah, those are bad people doing bad things. Exactly, said God, they have run away from me, but I can't stop loving them. I will give them a new start. I will forgive them. No, said Jonah, they don't deserve it. I'll run away, Jonah said to himself far away, so far away that God won't be able to find me. Then I won't have to do what God says. It's a good plan. He said, because as far as he knew, it was a good plan. But of course, it wasn't a good plan at all. It was a silly plan. Jonah went ahead with his not very good plan. One ticket to not Nineveh, please, he said and boarded a boat sailing in the very opposite direction of Nineveh. Well, it wasn't long before the fierce wind blew and the boat started to lurch and pitch and roll and everyone started turning green. Jonah sat bolt upright in his bed. You see, the first thing that went wrong with Jonah's not very good plan was that God sent a big storm after him. The sailors say couldn't sail their ship properly. We're sinking, they screamed and started throwing everything off board, suitcases, food, whatever they could find. But now Jonah knew that the storm was his fault. Throw me in instead, he shouted to the sailors, and the storm will stop. The sailors weren't sure. It's the only way we can be saved, Jonah cried. And so, one, two, three, splash! No, no sooner had Jonah hit the water than the waves grew calm. The wind died down and the storm stopped. Just then, when Jonah thought it was all over, when he was sure he was going to drown, God sent a big fish to rescue him. The fish swallowed Jonah up whole with one big gulp. 
Jonah must have thought he'd died. It was so dark in there, like in a tomb. But then he smelt the rotting food and felt the slimy seaweed and knew he wasn't dead. He was in the belly of a fish. Sitting there in the dark for three whole days, Jonah had plenty of time to think. Pretty soon he realised his plan was, well, a very silly plan indeed. He was sorry from running away. He prayed to God from inside the great fish and asked God to forgive him. After three days, the fish spat Jonah safely out onto a sandy beach. Just then, Jonah heard someone calling him. Go to Nineveh, God said. And this time, Jonah said, yes. He went straight to Nineveh and told everyone God's wonderful message. Even though you've run far from God, he can't stop you loving him. Jonah told them, run to him so he can forgive you. The people of Nineveh listened to Jonah and they started loving God. They learnt to do what God said and to stop running away from him, just like Jonah. Many years later, God was going to send another messenger with the same wonderful message. Like Jonah, he would spend three days in utter darkness. But this messenger would be God's own son. He would be called the Word because he himself would be God's message. God's message translated into our own language. Everything God wanted to say to the whole world in one person. The end. So children, we've just heard a story all about a man named Jonah. Let's recap and ask a few questions. At the beginning of the story, did Jonah hear from God? Yes. And did he obey God when he spoke to him? No. What did he do? In fact, he got on a boat and went the opposite way. He was running away from what God had said. He did that. And when he got into the boat, he was with some other men called sailors. And what happened, Tom, when he got in the boat? Well, there was a huge storm. They were all really scared. They were really scared. Mm. And I think Jonah realised what was happening. Mm. He had disobeyed God. He had. And what did he need to do? Well, the other sailors, they were praying to their gods and they were throwing everything overboard. But that wasn't helping. The boat was still sinking. Jonah knew he had to go overboard. So he was thrown into the water and he was gobbled up by an enormous... Fish! Ah! And then he stayed in the fish's belly. Oh, can you imagine? Smelly! And then what did he do in the enormous fish, Tom? He was there for three whole days and he was praying diligently to God. He was so worried and scared, and he was sorry for what he had done. And then when he prayed, he realized that he needed to obey God. He did, and the fish spat him out onto a lovely sandy beach just by Nineveh. And then Jonah obeyed what God said and went and told the people of Nineveh all about how good God was and how much he loved them and how much he wanted to have a friendship with them. Sometimes do you feel a little bit scared or worried? Mm. And especially at the moment, we're going through a crisis. What does a crisis mean, Tom? Well, it's sometimes when things are out of our control. And we get scared and worried, guys. And that's normal. And mummies and daddies will be feeling that. And you and your brothers and sisters will be feeling that. But what can we do that can help us? Well, we can pray. We can pray to God and he can reassure us and give us peace and calm down the situation. Like he calmed the storm. So today, children, if you're feeling a little bit scared or nervous or anxious 
um, or you have a friend who's feeling sad or you've got a friend who's feeling sick then we can pray for them so we're going to now move on to doing a craft hi guys so for today's craft we are going to be making this snazzy big fish and in our story the big fish swallowed Jonah and while he was there he prayed and he was listening and he obeyed God Wow what a great craft we really hope you enjoy making your Jonah fish this week so guys let's recap when we're in a crisis or we're worried we can pray we hope you've enjoyed today's session and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.